Hey guys, this is Kilrob speaking, and today we are back in Motorsport Manager with Kilrob Motors, solidly in the lead for everything. We're just racing away from the competition. Even Eastwood Motorsport, with their supposedly best car in the field, can't do anything. Maybe because they chose the wrong, the wrong ERS system or something. Because um, that would have killed me too. Maybe they haven't found the hybrid mode button yet. We start out into the Tondela track challenge coming up next. Will we be able to uh, do another 1-2 finish? Uh, would be nice. Um, acceleration and low speed corners. I think I'm going to improve the reliability of the, uh, of the front wings then. But first things first, the interview. What do we have? Uh, we're fighting away at the front. But, yeah, let's go with B. Okay, thanks for the answer. We already had that before. That's, that's some... Oh, yeah, the inflated ego. Uh, okay, so 15 weeks. But in 15 weeks' time... Oh, 15 weeks is a lot of time. Uh, oh, shit. That's a lot of time, but that is 105 days, right? 15 weeks, 70 plus 35 is 105, yes. Uh, let's see. Whoo, okay, we're, we're fine. It's 206 days, so that, that's that's it, fine. You, you guy, you can just be inflated all you want. But, I mean, this is out of character for Falco. Maybe he has been possessed by demons, because he's the humble god of racing, not the inflated ego god of racing. Oh, they took a big hit in... Ouchies. Ouchies. In stamina. Uh, yeah, that's not looking too good. Uh, we need to switch out a few guys. But first, let's see who's here for high... Oh, fuck, what is this? Abomination! Car repairs are done. And now let's see what we want to improve the reliability of. I said front wings. Now let's put them in there. Ah, yeah, and of course we wanted to have the gearbox improved. And that should be a priority, I would say. Uh, let's switch this over. Eight days before the race. Oh, wow. That's quick. Sponsors complaining? What? Ah, okay. Okay. Um, well. Well, we already have a team marketability of uh, 100. So that can't improve. Just buy more champagne, it's fine. And we have uh, a new gearbox? Was it a gearbox? Another gearbox? Yes, another 20% of gearbox. It also needs improving. So what part do we design next? We do have, whoa, driver consistency plus two. Oh, that's an interesting card. Oh, this is also... Oh, they, they, I, I like the variety of cards they, they give you towards the higher levels. Uh, a bit more nuanced. Um, reliability plus 15% for each average component you add. Uh, okay. So, usually just one. But if you have... If you do like this, then you get plus 30% durability. Oh, reliability. Uh, so, do we want to have another gearbox built, or rather, I think we need to focus a bit more on the suspension. That's our weak spot. And what is the next race? Uh, top speed and acceleration. Uh, so, just acceleration, basically. That means until then we can maybe build some really awesome suspension stuff. Yeah, basic part, but it's quick to improve. Uh, let's choose this one. Our gearbox has already improved a lot. Uh, let's put the other one um, to this list as well. We won't have time to improve the wings, unfortunately, but uh, hey, come on. It's fine. It's at 80. Staff center wants an upgrade. Yeah, I don't care. Not now. Not now. That will be probably the next step overall, but uh, I'm, I'm fine with what it is now. I mean, otherwise we get too high costs for the races. Especially in a season where we're not winning everything, like now. We can't get the high sponsorship bonuses for the races. And the suspension is done. Let's see what new uh, suspension options we get. 
Ah, oh, this weird part also. Okay. Okay. It's not too great. This one is interesting. Fuel efficiency improved. I wonder with how much. Like, do you get one full star or something? That would be cool. Uh, anyway, we do want to choose some standard things. We could even go with this. Although, nah. Um, reliability. And this one. And we don't have to improve as much. But now the super cards are revealed to us. Um, not that it really matters. But we will be able to choose two of these. Or, oh, this is actually pretty bad. Hmm, there's no good option here. I think we might end up with the... Uh, with this one and one which also has the fuel efficiency is improved or we go this route of having a bonus to medium speed corners when we are on softs and ultra softs yeah let's build this part that seems like a decent suspension upgrade and we are ready to travel to Dondella what was there on the calendar uh, sponsorship ends ah right right our gearbox is done for the race, 80%. Got up to 80%, that's pretty good. Uh, now, parts fitting. Oh, he's just delighted. Okay, so the smiley face doesn't update. Uh, anyway, we fit some new parts. These brakes look fancy. Oh, we get two new gearboxes. Now that's an upgrade. And we're ready to take it on. Super softs are available. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a dry race. And of course we choose third or above. 1.2 million. Everyone is delighted and happy. Just as it should be. And let's race. Do we really want to race on super softs? Uh, how many laps was this race? Uh, damn it, already forgot. But yeah, super softs do have better performance after all. Hmm. Hmm. How hot is it going to be? And the pit lane is... Oh, was that always the problem with this one? Like it had high tire wear overall, but the pit lane is pretty pretty good. So you're cutting this corner here, which saves you quite a bit of time. Yeah, fuck it. Super soft uh, is what we are going for. Maybe Luke needs to throw in a stint on soft tires just to stretch it a bit, but it will be fine. And again, a successful practice session. Unfortunately, Troy didn't have a clear track while uh, Falco just overtook everyone uh, without problems. So, uh, yeah, he got a much better time. Falco, that is. Oh, shit. It's actually raining. It is a good stint of intermediate tires. Okay. Now, that's interesting. That means we want to stretch it if we can car setup was nailed and now let's count the number of laps oh oh this is looking good if we go with the full fuel tank then this will work out just fine yeah 13 ish laps pretty good well it's very fortunate that we see uh, that we have the forecasting center and actually see where the rain stops we wouldn't have been able to do that before like it would go to lap 8 so both of you go and use, uh, th get 13 laps worth of fuel, I would think. And one of you can, if we, if we can, go a little harder with the engine mode so that you uh, have one l a lap worth of extra performance. But it gives us the flexibility to potentially extend and pit them on the same lap. We are starting from the rear. Uh, I'm not going to overdo it. Just set it to high mode, or maybe, maybe even medium. Like let them let them do their thing until they have sorted out the clusterfuck, and then we start riding. And the lights are on. Uh, you are switched off from auto mode. Okay, okay, okay. Everything good. We are in slow mode, super slow mode, and we'll just wait until the clusterfuck has lifted. So now we're on lap four, and the field has stretched out a bit. Uh, Falco is in front, so let's try to get him past a few fools. Like here, for instance. Yes, that's looking good. Race. Wow, nice. That was a good one. 
And let's continue. Push. Push on. Push on. Push on. Come on, accelerate. And there we go. Passed a lot of people. Ninth now. And Luke is almost ready to use his. Down in 20th. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But yeah, I mean, the pace isn't there right now. But now we need to use it. And yes. Taking all kinds of names here. And oh, you can get past the others. You can get past the others without supercharge mode. Yes, exactly like this. Now we're up in 9th and 12th. That won't last for long because everyone else has more charge. And what is the weather doing? Well, we are more than halfway through the rain. Still plenty of fuel left. And I think I may, may be able to stretch Falco by one lap. Just maybe. That's uh, four laps. La no, I don't need to. I actually don't need to. So you can go on rich mode now. Falco is up in fifth after using his whole battery. Um, my main worries here is that the two Eastwood guys are up in front. But we have been getting a lot closer. What is their charge? Well, wow, pretty high. Everyone is pretty high. I think we need to pit in Luke one lap earlier so that we get a nice gap. So that's why I'm setting him to uh, super rich mode. Although, what is the gap currently? The gap is only five seconds. And that's not enough. And now up in 8th, and I think we can't pit him. Yeah, not on this mode. So if we switch to this, and wait for a bit, wait for a bit, wait for a bit. There we have it. And now. Yeah, 0.02. Perfect. So now we can switch you. Oh, yes, that is interesting. Okay, okay. We do want, if we can... We do want to stay on a two-stop strategy. And I don't think it will start raining again. That, that would be weird. Um, maybe in the final few laps or something. But, yeah. Uh, but, yes. If we can. And I would like to do a very long stint here. So that we can stay on a two-stop strategy. And use the super softs towards the end. Uh, where there's grip on the track. And we can get a fastest lap. That means we need a very long stint here. So I give him 13 laps worth of fuel. And we need to watch out for Falco. Uh, okay, Luke can use his charge after um, he's done with the pit stop. Uh, we want to use Falco's charge now, if possible. Yes. Yes, go by. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now Falco's turn to get into the pits. 0.014, that's fine. And we also pit here on these tires. It seems to be a good strategy, in my mind at least. And go with 12 laps worth of fuel. Yeah, and we can have a really fast stint towards the end. Okay, so let's see how this goes. We get in, oh, that's very close. And no mistakes, please. Yes, 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 fill it up, done. Well, it was a long pit stop because of uh, so much, so much f refueling. 17th. Ah, uh, no, we didn't get out in front of the others. But Falco is doing well. He's alone in the front. Maybe we can keep it that way. Let's use the remaining charge here on this mini straight. And into the pits we go. And done, 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 done. Refuel, done. Perfect. Okay, look up in 11th. It's looking good. Falco came out in third. That is really nice. That is really nice. Because look at this. This guy definitely is on a three stop strategy with his ultra soft tires. So we have. We can happily ignore him. He won't be there. Sadat, I don't know. He looks like he's on a two stopper. Now uh, we're speeding it up a bit. Uh, third and ninth currently. 
But uh, happy driving. Don't think. Oh no, he's he's kind of stuck. Well, there's not much we can do about it. Oh, everyone is overtaking Falco. That's not nice. We do have plenty of charge, though. Uh, uh, we we will use this. Uh, get out of my way! Accelerate! Falco is now in fourth. And look, oh, don't, <laughs> don't kick him out. That's not the plan. And now Falco can accelerate too. Although there's uh, just rebel in front that doesn't need to overtake him because they are going into the pits. And in third and fourth right now. That is brilliant. So we are very close to the top. And I don't know what strategy they own. Probably the same as ours. So now it's all about pace. We do have higher charge in our battery too. Mm, not for Luke, definitely, but ahem, for Falco, that's the case. Oh, it looks like we can get number two. Just accelerate. No, he's also trying. Yep, nice pass. Nice pass. He's like standing still. What's going on with him? Why so slow, mate? Okay, we need to overtake number one. And trigger. Trigger the spec bar. What? Come on. Just drive past, mate. You have, you have all the power in the world. And now we have a clean track and can just use uh, use the battery for the remainder of our stint. We are gen recharging so that we prepare for a um, lap time record. Maybe we don't want to use it all, actually. Let's leave 25% in. 10 laps remaining. Well, that's looking good. We have another 3 laps worth, or 2 laps worth of fuel. 3 laps worth of fuel. Soon I need to switch to medium. But I can start using my tires more. So Luke is on his final lap. There we have it. Uh, pet you in. 0.14. Brilliant. And now we can switch you over to the super softs. And he needs uh, nine laps worth of fuel. So eight is required, but we get nine. So that's that should work out. Gearbox is a little shorty. Might uh, not want to push that one too hard. Although there's no way of not doing that. Falco is coming in soon too. And do we have enough fuel for an ultra fast lap? Maybe we do. You can go attack mode even. And the pit stop is on. So far without floor. Yes! Good, good, good. That worked out just brilliantly. So now, Falco, how is uh, how are things going here? We need to yes, 0.03, perfect. Fuel options. Uh, how much do you need? One lap less. There. So eight laps worth of fuel we put into your tank. And is that all? I think it is. Yes. Exactly. Part condition looks great. Now we have Luke coming out in 7th. It's not bad, there are 4 more in front of him who need to pit stop. And Falco is coming in. Let's uh, drop it down to high and neutral for the time being. And now he's in. And yes, 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 come out. Yeah, perfect. We're still in 1st. He's coming around the corner. And yes, we made it. <laughs> Yes, we made it to first. And how much charge do we have? Oh, we have equal amounts of charge. But he... Oh, well, we can ignore him. He still hasn't pitted. So we are way, way ahead. The main competition here is Kranz with 10 seconds. And we have the better tires and fresher tires. So how does Luke look here? Hmm. 
Do we want to wait until everyone has pitted in front of him? Maybe. We can wait a little while before we need to trigger our uh, top lap. And Falco, once again, we can do a little bit here and there. Uh, Venom is in front of him and doesn't want to come in. Uh, while the tires are lasting, let's do the time attack now. Now we set it to overtake mode, set it to attack, and now we go. Oh, let's see what kind of uh, lap time he can run now. Okay, accelerate! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Yes, just driving by. And we're still going strong. Still going strong. And we're out. Yes, even taking third. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So, he's on a lap record pace. Let's hope it lasts. And around the corner, and... We didn't get lap record. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That wasn't... That wasn't good. Well, Falco, it's your turn. Show him how it's done, this damn noob. For that, we back up first, so that we cool down the tires a bit. And our final corner. Let's switch it over to attack and overtake mode. And... Go, go, go! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Go on, yes, fastest lap, and... Uh, will this be enough? Or did they cheat again with their super batteries? And... No! No, also just a personal best. We can't beat it. We just can't beat it. Oh, his gearbox is giving up. 25%. Ew. What is your parts condition doing? Oh, it's it's good. So Falco is all right. Uh, we have enough fuel in the tank for the final laps. And 20 seconds gap. While well, our problem child here is just look. Oh, how does it look? Whoa. LCL has a lot of charge. We might be getting Kranz with Luke. How many seconds? Oh, yeah, he's right in front of him. So, yep, just get in front of him. Two laps remaining. But he's also on uh, on the super softs. Just slightly better condition than, uh, worse condition than we have. He doesn't need to come in. And he has more charge. Whoa, that was a nice maneuver. He just sped through this corner like crazy. But now he has activated, we have angered the gods. He has activated his 65% battery. And do we have enough fuel for this lap? Uh, ba barely. Uh, we won't be able to hold, uh, to hold second with him. That's just not possible. He has too much charge. And he is willing to use it. Look at that. Yay, Falco! Falco, you did it! You did it! And Luke, you did it too. Podium. That's really nice. Couldn't beat El Sada today. Oh, he also got fastest lap. Why am I not surprised? He has this different battery option. Archer has the different battery option of uh, a longer lasting battery, which you, which is charging much slower. So, yeah, okay. So they can run a whole lap on their uh, power mode. But nevertheless, this is looking very, very nice. And overall in the Drivers' Championship, Luke is second. Ten points gap to uh, Kranz, our main competitor. And of course the gap is just growing in the team standings. Oh! Marketability dropped by a lot, but why is that? Uh, boring winner. Oh shit. Well, that's not good, but it's just one week. 
Maybe next time around we should just let uh, Luke win here. Luke Skywalker. He m might want uh, to... You might appreciate the, the win. Just mess it up for Falco somehow. Like, uh, go in super lean mode and just let, it, let him hang up in front. And then Troy can just overtake him. With super rich mode. Maybe he, he can do that. Again, 550,000 in the negative, which is not really in the negative, but rather in the positive, because we are putting back 909,000 for the new car. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.